So the first thing that we started off with in the fall, which would have been August, would be the 10 gesture sketches. These were difficult poses. Um, they didn't need to be 100% flushed out like the guy on the right, but they could be, you know, middly flushed out like the one in the, in the center. And you were going to try to find poses that would be hard to hold if you had to hold them for any real extended amount of time. That was assignment number one. All right. Your assignment number two, 10 more gesture poses for setting a scene. This is where we were building up for the setting the scene assignment. So you had to have 10 gesture poses so that you could practice these before you put these on your good paper. So that was assignment number two. Assignment number three, a pre-sketch to show me what was going to go into your setting the scene assignment. Um, they didn't have to be this well thought out. These are actually pretty nice uh, pre-sketches. But you get the basic idea. You have a background, you have people up front, you have people in the distance. I probably just personally would have thrown another person here. Boom, boom, up close to break up some of this space or maybe another dog. You know, I don't know if this is a Corella, DeVille, Disney, 101 Dalmatian thing. Set in the right time period. And then after that, you have assignment number four, which was the finished setting a scene scene. All right, the finished work of art on, on a large sheet of paper. It could be all in pencil, if you like. You could use color if you like, whatever the case may be. All right, so that was assignment number four. Assignment number five, take all those things, put it in a slideshow, much like the one you're looking at, with the front card that had your name, your class, and your school year. So that you got credit for. A lot of credit. You also had an abstract art assignment where you messed around with oil pastels to kind of get the idea of what it is that those oil pastels could do. So that would have been assignment number six. Assignment number seven, you were going to take those oil pastels and do a political piece of art. All right. Very exciting. Expressing some viewpoint that you have either in a obnoxious way or an ironic way tongue in cheek, or maybe just flat out show what the problem is. Uh, I even gave you the option of doing it abstractly as Picasso did in Guernica. And lastly, before we assign any new assignments, you had the turning a cartoon character into a real person with watercolor. Uh, that Ronald McDonald is horrifying. As like, that makes Popeye look cuddly there. So those would have been the eight assignments you guys have had since August. That's roughly two assignments a month. Uh, first couple were really simple. I think we talked a lot through them. So that's what I'm expecting you guys to either have done, do, done by December 1st, or, you know, I guess I can see in that 50 year high school, that'll be fun. Okay, any questions about that if you are a 5'6"? Excellent. Let's move on. to. My Please remember, while we only have two class periods to meet before deadline, you guys have all of Thanksgiving break to get some work done. I don't want it to look like you did everything in the last 10 minutes before December 1st. That would just make me sad, and it's going to make your artwork look sad. All right, with that in mind, have a good weekend. Stay out of trouble. If you can't stay out of trouble, don't get caught.